kind of, I feel like it kind of helps kick off into junior season, really. Phone. There's the phone. Joe and I are a year older and we're ready for another V-Caddy. Howdy folks, let's Howdy get it going. Folks. Let's get it going. All right, Joe, so we just celebrated golf day. Well, uh, after our birthdays. After our birthdays. Well, in between our birthdays, Well, actually. yeah, because so, I celebrated golf day with you. Yeah, so golf day, though, was a wonderful day for golf in the state of South Carolina. Congratulations to all of our award winners. Um, with our golf day, we have um, the awards for the South Carolina Golf Association plus the South Carolina Golf Hall of Fame. Uh, congrats to Dillard Pruitt, well-deserved Hall of Fame inductee this year. Uh, did an awesome job that day, too. That was a lot of fun to listen to and, and see all the, the folks that you brought with you. Congrats, Dillard. That was a lot of fun. Uh, RJ Cure, Player of the Year for the South Carolina Golf Association. Congrats. And Walter Todd, uh, the Senior Player of the Year. Also want to shout out to Florence Country Club, the first ever, uh, I guess, two -time. there you go, two-time Club of the Year for the state of South Carolina and the South Carolina Golf Association. Uh, Robbie Bennett, longtime board member for the uh, SCGA, earned the Charles H. Drawdy Distinguished Service Award uh, for his longtime commitment to the Fall Challenge there in Sherrall. Robbie, congrats, and it's always fun to come up there and see you that first weekend in November. Um, McLeod Health has been an awesome supporter of ours so uh, for many, many them. years. First um, South Carolina State Amateur title sponsor. Correct. Uh, been a longtime supporter of our leadership camp over there in Florence and obviously part of the Grant Bennett uh, Florence Junior too. So the Tom Fazio Service to Golf Award was well deserved by McLeod Health. So thank you everybody for the support and what an awesome day for golf in South Carolina. It was a lot of fun. It was really great. It was great to see so many people there. We also went live on Facebook so everybody could see oh, it. Oh, was cool, yeah. Hopefully you tuned in and were able to, to hear everything. But it was just great. I mean, there's such great ambassadors for golf that were in that room that day. Totally. So it's a little overwhelming, awesome. honestly. It was. Yeah. It was a little overwhelming, but it was fun. Um, speaking of moving into tournaments and great ambassadors for golf, we're um, kind of gearing up a little bit with the SCGA. We're going to start with the Tournament of Champions. Um, at the Tradition Club at Paul A's Island, so that'll be the 27th and the 28th. And then we're going to lead into, go ahead, um, you can start registering for the Holly Tree, 40 plus. Uh, the deadline is going to be February 7th, but the tournament is February 16th. 19th. 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 Well, it's 16th, 19th. It's a Monday, 40 plus Holly Tree up there in Simpsonville. Uh, speaking of tournaments, we've got the Partners Championship right around the corner. Uh, deadline is going to be February 14th for those applications. The tournament's actually March 3rd and 4th. As usual, we're at the Members Club at Wood Creek and Spring Valley Country Club here in Columbia. So, y'all put the teams together. We had, I think, a sellout last year. This has become a very popular event, and we appreciate it very much because the proceeds from your entry fees go toward South Carolina Junior Golf. So, really excited to have you guys out there, and we'll have the full slated staff out there to serve your golfing needs. It's over the degrees of 50. Yes. Well, yeah. I'm not, you're not subbing in for me this year. I got you covered. No. All right. So <laughs> moving right along, we're going to go into the senior four ball. So that registration opens January 26th. It's going to open this week. So make sure that um, you look out for the registration. Go ahead and register. The tournament is actually March 20th and the 21st, um, and it'll be at Seabrook. Island, so that'll always be a fun time. Seabrook Island's a great spot. Been a host of our All Stars at the end of the summer. All Stars. They also hosted what the Mid Am. The Mid Am last year. That was on the uh, Ocean Winds. The the Senior Four Ball will be on the Crooked Oaks course. So that's a good spot. Uh, moving the attention to the South Carolina Junior Golf Association. Uh, kind of a monumental event on Martin Luther King Jr. Day. We had a Junior One Day at Musgrove Mill, and followed up with a meeting up there with Mr. Tallman. And he mentioned that that was the first junior event at Musgrave Mill. So wow. really cool. And, and what a great spot. Um, it's a little bit tricky and, and very difficult. And it was really, really cold. Freezing. Thanks to Musgrove. Uh, for all you guys do, we'll see you a couple times this year. Thanks to all the, you know, the junior golfers for Yeah, for playing. For, it's, playing. for toughing it out, no doubt, no doubt. Wow, yeah, that was really cold in the office. That was really cold for me. So, moving right <laughs> along to the junior golf, we have the Sea Pines Junior Heritage coming up yeah. beginning of February. So, it'll be February 3rd and 4th. Um, it's played at Atlantic Dunes and obviously the ever so popular Harbortown Golf Links. Um, we are going to have 84 players for that event and coming from all over. So, we'll have some of our South Carolina um, players representing and then I think it goes everywhere. Yeah, this is an international field. This, uh, 
this is one of the top 15 two-day tournaments in the country so y'all keep an eye out we'll have a ton of social media going out for this lots of photos some interviews hopefully so it's a, a big tournament for us and thanks to the sea pines resort and the heritage classic foundation for their continued partnership and support we um, also have a twitter for the junior heritage too yeah so at um sea pines junior heritage so make sure you awesome. follow that retweet, good plug good like. plug uh moving along still on February the 19th, we've got another Junior One Day. This is President's Day. Uh, so this is kind of the theme of our Junior One Days is try to find a date that youngsters are out of school. Uh, the President's uh, Day One Day will be at Crow Field Golf Club down in Goose Creek, oh, okay. so outside of North Charleston. Um, application deadline for that is February the 11th, so go ahead and get your apps in. they got an awesome spot down there. We've had a bunch of events at Crow Field, so that'll be a good, hopefully it'll be a little warmer than Mushgrove down along the coast or a little, at least a little closer it should be uh, some good weather so february 11th is the deadline for the february 19th president's day one day at crowfield very nice yeah. well speaking of we're kind of going to keep on the juniors i guess so the peewee championship registration is still open uh that term is march 18th um so seven through 12 year olds are able to register that's at columbia country club they're always so welcoming to us there at Columbia Country Club, and this is always a great event. I feel like this tournament really helps kind of kick off into junior season. You know, we're really starting with the PBs. It can kind of help lead into the chapter events that we have coming up. Totally. We're making sure you're doing that. So, yeah, register for the PB Championship. That's a Sunday, too, so mark your calendars for that. Uh, Sunday. Caddies Sunday. are allowed if they're under 18 years of age, because I know it can get a little bit tough for them peewees. So, y'all, bring your caddies if they're under 18. Who doesn't want a caddy? I'd love to, but I just turned 39. Uh, so about our foundation, too, keep an eye on the mail and watch our social media feeds. We've got a push for the golf ball coming up here in Columbia. It will be April the 5th, Thursday Woo! night of the Masters. It's going to be great this year. You're not going to want to miss it. Mobile bidding, y'all. Uh, keep an Come eye back. and ear to the ground because you're going to be able to sit there in your house if you're from the upstate, the low country, the PD, wherever you may be hanging out. If you can't make it to Columbia that day, you can go online and bid on upwards of 150 to 200 auction items that day. So, All right, Joe, so people can bid from anywhere, right, for the golf ball That's again it. this year. Yeah, because it's mobile bidding. It's mobile bidding. So we're excited to be back with Qtago again. Um, we felt like it was a great program for us. It really worked well for us. And, again, you don't have to be on site, even though we would love for you to come celebrate with us. On April 5th, you do not have to be on site to do so. So, basically, you don't have to be on site to support junior golf. Nope, nope. You can sit there in your own home and watch the uh, the bids go up and hopefully you're one of our winners so check that out before that though too we've also got the Can-Am Junior matches we'll be visiting the friendly confines of Watch Us All Plantation Club St. Patty's Day weekend that's always one of the best events of the year we've got our friends from Ontario coming down so we're working on that as we speak too and uh, got a great team this year grant programs for those that are out there at the club level uh, we've got our summer camp grant applications that are out youngsters that are trying to get into events that may need a little bit of financial help we've got our par grant applications out um, go to the website scjgf.org we've tried to update that and make it a little bit more user friendly so you can find the applications there so check it out and um, hey here we go 2018 is well underway and we're full speed ahead all right i think we're done for the week so everybody enjoy your week happy monday yep have a good one.